Over the last couple of years, there's been somewhat of a misconception that there is bad blood between Stain frontman Aaron Lewis and the members of Limp Bizkit. That is simply not true. Other than the beef that he's had with Wes Borland, Aaron Lewis remains an ardent supporter of Fred Durst, as evidenced by a clip of him halting his show to correct a fan who shouted from the crowd, F Fred Durst, and Aaron Lewis took time out of his set to tell an emotional story that we are just now hearing about how Fred Durst lost his entire home and had to escape that home due to the rapidly advancing fire that recently happened out in California. He lost everything in his house and he never posted about it other than just to mention that it occurred and that is the type of guy he is. For those unfamiliar, there was some sparring back and forth between Wes and Aaron Lewis where they had some sort of a dispute about an encounter they had in an airport, but nonetheless, Aaron Lewis has the utmost respect for Fred Durst. And after the fan dissed him, he goes and talks about how Fred Durst has always been there for him and there would be no Aaron Lewis without Fred Durst. And it was a really kind speech from Aaron Lewis to really give credit to someone who gets a lot of undue hate from the rock and metal community. Fred's an asshole. Now, Fred's the whole reason I'm sitting in front of you this evening. And I gotta say that, that at this point in my life, I, I call Fred when I, I need like Dalai Lama advice. <laughs> For real. Like, Fred is awesome. He really is. He blows my mind every time I talk to him. He does. I, I you know. <coughs> I'm very thankful. I'm thankful that that after after honestly after I offended the because I did first time we ever met I offended his ass bad and uh, and I'm I'm very grateful that he he was able to get past that. And, uh, thank you, Fred. Yes, thank you, Fred. <laughs> Every time I hear somebody yell something bad about Fred, I, I want to just like screech to a halt and be like, what? That is the reason I'm here. I would still be, well no, I probably wouldn't still be. I'd have given it up a long time ago, I, I think, and, and I probably would have written songs that would have made my kids laugh and I would have been okay with that. But uh, Fred is the reason that I'm here. So, any hate that you might harbor in your heart for no reason whatsoever, because you don't even know the boy, let it go. He's, he's, he's alright, my book. So, uh... just happened. Everything. Everything. He drove his Harley Davidson away from his house because he couldn't even get his car out of the garage. That's what kind of mother he is. You don't know that. Nobody knows that. He lost everything in that fight. So, don't hate on a mother. So Aaron Lewis can be sort of a polarizing individual at times, but that's because Aaron Lewis doesn't care what anybody thinks. That's a good attribute to have, especially if you're in the entertainment business. He marches to the beat of his own drum and his career is evidenced by that. This is a guy that had it all in one of the biggest rock bands and made a decision to go into an entirely new genre. You've got to sort of be pretty fearless to do that and do it at the level that he's done it. He deserves a lot of credit for sort of being able to make lightning strike twice. That is 
is not easy to do. Mind you, he has a great voice and he's an outstanding guitar player, an outstanding songwriter, and this was really cool to see him do. So Aaron Lewis, Fred Durst, just like everybody, he gets a lot of hate out there. He deserves a lot of respect for correcting that fan in the crowd. That's not easy to do when you're at a concert and this person paid to see you and You know, he did it with respect and grace, and that was really nice of him to do, and it's positive. So shout out to Aaron for that. That is all for now. You can check out these recommended videos, and don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us here at Rockfeed, and we'll see you all very soon.